Ladies and gentlemen, this is just me rambling a video that I decided to do this morning. You know, America is probably one of the most rigged up systems on the entire earth. And my question is, how the hell do you rig up a system to work in your favor and then you turn around and fail in the very system that you rigged up? And that's exactly what we're seeing every single day in America. You know, America, as I stated before, is ran like a plantation. You know, all white people in every sector across this country have the top positions. They're in top in medical, they're top in corporations, they're top everywhere. Okay. And despite the fact that they are in every top position around America and everybody else is down at the bottom, just like a plantation they're still failing their people in their own system. Deaths of despair is nothing but junkies. It's about junkies that are strung out on drugs that white doctors got them hooked on because they overprescribe to white people and underprescribe to black people with the false belief that we don't feel pain. And because of that thinking, this is why they're in the position that they're in. And again, they got every top spot in America and they still can't help their people out of this situation. Failing in their own system. So then we have Angela Merkel, who just announced that since Trump has taken office, Europe can no longer depend on America. They know they got to fend for themselves now. America is no longer viewed as an ally to Europe since Trump took office. And, and yes, there's multiple articles on this. They said they can't even half talk to Trump. You know why? Because Trump really is not that bright. That's why everybody on this planet is having a serious time communicating with this man. But, you know, they had the G20 and they said they had to start calling it the G19 because no one could communicate with Trump. Trump was there, but physically he was there. But as far as anything else, he really was absent. And you know what it you know what it is ladies and gentlemen he could not grasp or understand what these other world leaders were talking about so he kind of withdrew himself away from them because he he couldn't figure out what was going on and that's exactly what it is but of course you know <laughs> his supporters are going to claim it isn't but you know, European nations are now saying they cannot depend on the U.S. as an ally. I mean, did you ever thought you would see this type of division going on? But it's happening. You know, and it's also a sign of other nations separating from America. That's exactly what this is. Now, you may deem this as not serious. But it is serious because if anything happens, nobody's going to be there for America. Not that anybody was really there. I mean, you think about 9-11. I didn't see Iraqis boarding a plane to come help America or anybody from Afghanistan, any country that they bombed up. You notice nobody comes from those countries to help America because you know what? At the end of the day, they are all waiting with bated breath for America to fail. That's why they're not going to come and help America. And you can best believe the next terrorist attack and the next one and the next one and the next one, nobody from Europe or any other nation is going to come to help America. Okay. They claim to be so bonded with these Europeans, but these Europeans don't do anything for them when it comes down to serious, um, even during the natural, natural disasters, how many Europeans flew over here to help the Americans. None, none. And you can best believe there's going to be plenty more nation, uh, 
natural disasters and all types of issues going on in America. Because, see, when it comes down to social issues, America gets an F. America has always done poorly. See, when you begin your nation in violence and in hatred, it, it will never be right. It will never, ever be right. And see, the reason why you see such a high suicide rate among them is because, number one, as I stated in the beginning, they're failing in their own system. And see, they don't prop people up to the point where they can't even live up to the expectations that they've set. No matter how many privileges you give somebody and they still fail in your system, then they're going to start checking out of here. They don't see no reason to stick around. So now not only, you know, then they talk about all this mental illness. My question is, why are y'all raising up so many people with mental illness? What's going on in your household where you turning out so many people with mental illness? And why aren't you correcting it? You got every top position in this country and making all the money. You should be able to afford to correct those things. But, you know, but these people are checking out of here because they feel like there's nothing they can do or even feel accomplished or worth lot or even have self-worth. So, again, a failure in their own system. All right. So now we know the opioid epidemic started from um, white doctors over prescribing to white patients, okay? And then when those patients ran out of money, they ran to the streets looking for the illegal drug to get high on. Didn't happen to black people because see, they didn't wanna give you pain pills worth nothing. If they could get away with giving you nothing, it would have been done. And in many cases you can find Black people that have bone fractures and were in all kinds of pain and the doctor didn't give them nothing for their pain, okay? But they walked away with 90-day supplies, 60-day supplies, 30-day supplies, and they only want to give Black people one week, okay? So that's why you are hooked on opioids and Black people did not get hooked on this initially like you did. Now, do, do the Black community have a drug problem? Yes. There's always been Black people on drugs. But we never had no doctors that caused an epidemic like the white community. Okay, got all the top spots in the positions, running America like a plantation, and got everything slanted in your favor, and you're still failing in your own system. You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. You just can't. <laughs> How do you fail in your own damn system? But that's exactly what we're looking at. Now, we all know the criminal justice system has never been right in America. And it was done by design. They always want to keep themselves out of prison after committing some of the worst felonies in America. But Black people can do some of the most minor things and end up with astronomical sentences. Again, rigged up the system in their favor and ladies and gentlemen still failing in their own system. They can't even make it in a rigged up system. And it's about to get worse. See, you can't wake up every day trying to disenfranchise and oppress and subjugate a people and think your life is just going to go smoothly. And as you can see, things ain't going smoothly for these people. I don't care how much they try to talk their whiteness up. 
I don't care how much they try to act like it's so much better to be white and all this stuff. When you look at all of the articles that I flashed in front of your face, it ain't so good after all. And not to mention the fact that, you know, 2018 is going to bring these people hell. Okay. 2018 is going to be a year of hell for these people. Because remember, they are arrogant. And even the Most High said their pride is going to be the thing that destroys them. They don't even see the destruction before their eyes. They're blind to it. And that's another thing that's prophesied. They would be blind to their own destruction. So 2018 will be another big drug die-off year. And it's going to be a big disaster year. And the cops are, con are going to continue to shoot our people. So it's going to be another big protest year. And it's going to be worse. Remember, we are getting at the end of their 6,000 year reign. The closer we get to the end, which we are damn near there, the worse it's going to get for these people. Now, there are some among them that really do get it. They do, they get it. But remember, the majority won't. They won't. So all we got to do is stay away from the carnage that's about to unfold, ladies and gentlemen. And you can best believe it's already unfolding. Look at, look at these articles that I'm showing you. The carnage has already begun. It's a, we're in the middle of the carnage right now. And I'm telling you, it's going to get worse for them. Now, we've seen each natural disaster, the hurricanes, the fires, and all of the, um, and we, we, we see Fukushima, you know, as the radical home goddess has brought to light. You see the low birth rate. It's just so many things going on. So many things. And it's all happening at once. And still, you see a high level of arrogance and this falsified high IQ stuff. I tell you what, when America gets into its next war and with Trump leading, you can best believe the next war is coming. When you get into the next war, don't look at black people to be out on that battlefield with you. Take your high IQ with you and let that protect you out there. Let your high IQ be your biggest protector on the battlefield. Leave black people alone. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on that notification bell, ladies and gentlemen. And please join me over on Black Junction TV. Peace, family.